Hello there. Um, okay, so I just downloaded this um, Affinity Publisher for desktop. Um, it's a free beta that um, I, I received an email this morning. So I'm just kind of going through, um, um, I guess, my uh, first impression of it. Uh, I just uh, installed it and I just opened this uh, this app here. So so that's okay. So that's your your Eula. Okay. So pretend I read that. So click there, click accept. So exciting. <laughs> okay, here we go. So let's let's uh, maximize that. I'm on uh, uh, Windows 10, by the way. Find out more. So it's also, I think uh, the iPad was released uh, first. And then the desktop version came afterwards. Okay. So let's, uh, so just, uh, you have a tutorial, you know, uh, tutorials here, uh, samples. I'm not going to go through that, so I just let's just jump in. So this kind of reminds me of um, Adobe InDesign. Um, so you can set your um, your your page size here. Uh, let's pick letter facing pages. Okay, so, so I just wanted to show you the the, the drop downs here. So you have this, uh, these options. Um, I usually use um, a press ready. So let's go back here. Here's your color modes. Yep, just uh, always keep it to US web code and swap. Okay, 300 DPI. Um, so if you want to use, uh, there's no 600, can you, uh, okay, so you can type it in, okay, so that's good, so let's keep it at 300, um, margins, okay, let's, um, keep that all consistent. Okay, there's no um, uh, link icon here where you can constrain, sorry about that, that's my alarm, um, constrain the um, uh, dimension, uh, the, the sizes here. So I guess you have to uh, set it manually. So click OK. Wait, uh, what's retrieve margin from printer? Oh, I guess that's my, uh, my, uh, printer connected to my computer okay so let's just um I'm back to one inch click okay okay so here's your master pages so if it's the same as a uh, duplicate master delete Okay, so click OK. Can I? Okay. Let's add two more pages. Okay, so that's a, uh, a spread. Can I turn off spread here? OK. 
Okay. So let's say add this. Okay, so we're just going to create um, a new page uh, from the master. So I think I missed it. Okay, um, hmm. Let's try that again. I think I may have missed some, something up here. So master, insert after. Oh, I see, gotcha. Okay, so we take this and then put it here. So we should see that text box appear in both of these because I believe these are mapped to the master. Okay, okay, so yeah, that's right. So this one, the, the last two pages that we added, so it shows up there. Obviously, you can edit that because that's part of the master. And this was um, added manually. So, okay, so here's your um, context menu, fill tool. There's your picture. So you can drop a photo in there. Table. Okay, let's look at the palettes. Where are you? See, that's the problem when you're used to used to uh, working with, uh, with with InDesign with Adobe products. So, um, okay. So there's your grid. Snapping manager. No snapping. Uh, snap the grid, snap the baseline grid. Okay. So let's test this out. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting that's, that's part of the master. <laughs> okay. So uh, that's that. Yep, so it, it is so it is snapping. That's good. And okay, here's the spread setup. What else? What else I can show you? Um, here's a character. Can we set styles here? Uh, character style. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with details in here um, because obviously this is my first time working with this. I'm looking for a flyout menu here where you can uh, create new style. So, um, but obviously, uh, maybe. Either it's not there yet, or 
or I'm looking in this wrong spot here. Okay, so so this worked the same way as um, Affinity Designer. And okay, so it has the auto hyphen hyphenation there, align the baseline grid. Okay, that works. So I should reflow to the link box hit link box there. Okay, that works. Okay, there's the letting, which is on Windows is out, up and down. Uh, tracking uh, left right out left right okay well looks uh, this looks promising so um, I'm gonna stop this video here um, so I can you know play around some more <laughs> um, let me know what you think thanks bye